how is everyone? I hope you're all well. So, I weren't going to do a video, as you can hear. My voice is struggling somewhat, hence the delaying of the live. But look, I felt it was very important to talk about this information that has just come out. Now, what you've just watched there at the beginning is my version of the video, if you like. It was taken directly from the site. Um, the link will be in description. And look, I put it through Final Cut Pro, which is a pro editing software, just to highlight and, you know, just alter it to make it easier to see. There's been nothing added. There's nothing been taken away. It's just purely about light balancing, recoloring, color grading, to, again, to make it easier to see. So what are my conclusions from this? Now, without going down the route of discussing conspiracies and whether this origin could have been manipulated by an external source because I know that's what's going to go around what we have to do is take it at first by face value and that is that this is a credible source this is a fire cam that is designed to pick up fires now why you're seeing the the absolute brightness in this camera is because that's what they're designed to do they're designed to pick up sources of light um, areas that emit light brighten them so they can be seen they can be zoomed in on or they can be reacted to that is the sole purpose of this style camera so look that's what it's doing you know it's really amplifying those light sources but what i'm seeing is a car that is accelerating into the water that slow seems to be from the impact of the car hitting the water and then because we know that the front window is open and the back driver's side is open, so that's front passenger side open and rear driver's side is open and it's obviously hit the water with some force, look, that car has sunk pretty quick and it would appear that when the lights dim out, that's the car sinking. And look, I'm just taking it at face value, you know, removing all of the other possibilities that take us down the route of corruption and those sort of activities it's just what i see and taking into consideration that this is a credible source that it came from and i'm not talking about sf investigates i'm talking about the site itself this version that you're seeing i took that off of this site directly so i cannot from just looking at it see how this could have been manipulated in any way. I made sure that I got it myself. Several people had sent me it. Several people had sent me versions of it. And because of the light, I couldn't really see anything. So I decided, look, I'm going to go and find it. And I'm going to do it myself and see what I can do. But what does that mean? I feel that this could clear up a lot. I really do and could explain certain things around this case. What we've got to try and picture is what we know, and that is that in this picture it shows Kylie's car hitting the water at around 12.34, and it takes what it would appear around two minutes for it to sink, which coincides with kind of a scientific model of a car entering the water and how quickly it could descend, being quite heavy and windows being open. So they match up, they line up. The big thing what throws this out is the call to Sammy. Now, Sammy claims that that call was 12.36. So there lies the biggest question of all. If Kylie called Sammy at 12.36am, how could Kylie have been in her car at 1234 and then I think to myself, well, hold on. We did a video not so long ago about the girls who entered the water in Perth. And they had tried to reach out and call friends from their phones while they were sinking in the car. That was a tragic accident and they lost their lives. But they had attempted to call friends. Now, would Kylie have been in that car panicking, trying to get out of the water, so heading towards the rear hatch of the vehicle and did she reach out and call sammy and is that why we're seeing sammy react the way that she had very strategic in how she said that prosser reservoir had been searched wanting to 
manage the directive that Kylie had been kidnapped and taken away, again, trying to take the eyes away from Ground Zero, even mentioning Bokka, this seems to be, in my eyes, the most plausible situation, if indeed that is Kylie driving and the call was made. Obviously, if Kylie called Sammy at 12.36, he may not have been in that vehicle, but then you've got to argue the water, the vehicle went into the water at that time, and Kylie ended up in that water, in that vehicle. So it is about ascertaining the call. Did Sammy lie about the call? But then why would she lie about the call? The call records will be obtained by the police. They will know when that call took place. But I wonder whether that single piece of evidence is going to be the piece of evidence that brings the whole thing down on Sammy's head. Because again, if Kylie contacted and there was a conversation at 12.36 and Kylie was indeed in her car at this time, then what really happened in that call? Let me know down below what you think. But I will say this as well, let's not forget that Jagger was also very, very adamant that the information regarding the tow truck, that was fake or false. You know, he said that Adventures with Purpose were clout chasers. He was very, very adamant in that. He even stated very adamantly again that Kylie was drunk and she had driven herself into the reservoir and anyone could have done it. Is that because he knew? We've heard about a relationship between Sammy and Jagger. Was that Jagger leveraging what he knew against Sammy? There's lots of questions here. But I believe that Sammy knows, Jagger knows, and potentially Kylie's mum knows as well. And that's why she is very, very protective over Sammy. Maybe they just came clean. A bunch of kids that would go to these parties and drink. And look, Kylie got drunk and ended up in the reservoir doesn't mean that there's no blame because ultimately she shouldn't have been there she shouldn't have been drinking she shouldn't have been driving and if she made that call to sammy was she reaching out for help and if that's the case even if sammy couldn't have got to her why didn't she come forward why didn't she let her friend get found let me know what you think down below and i'll catch you all in the next one